In our culture and throughout history, when conventional leaders seem to have failed, there'd be one archetype that would provide protection to the ones in need. The caregiver uses her deep empathy to bring order and stability through altruism. She's able to find the silver lining in a cloud, listen with an open heart, support the well-being of others, even if she would risk her own. And if you ever wondered how to connect to your future clients in a meaningful way, then today's video is for you. This is another episode of the Brand Archetype series. In this series, I'll help you find your own brand archetype. You learn what customers of your archetype are looking for and why brand archetypes are so important when it comes to positioning. But first, some background information. The first person who talked about archetypes in this way was famous psychiatrist Carl Jung. According to Jung, humans possess a collective unconscious that's able to recognize repeating patterns in behavior throughout countries and cultures. And they can briefly be defined into 12 different types that follow four different goals. Leave a mark in the world, provide structure, connect to others, and yearn for paradise. And today we'll talk about the caregiver. So the caregiver is the kind of person who leads through altruism. They find great purpose in helping others, but also in bringing stability and order to organizational systems like families or even teams. So this is the kind of person who is so selfless, you would find them in history books referred as the helper, the guardian, the angel, or even the saint. When you first meet the caregiver, it's most probably through a warm smile. This is a person who's to a certain extent agreeable and who makes friends easily. In a corporate environment, caregivers can often be found as the good souls of a department. When you're planning a Christmas party, the caregiver will be in the committee and she will most probably bake cookies for everyone. But she can also be found as that colleague who sees that you're chronically overworked and offers her help. Company cultures that are fueled by the caregiver archetype usually go beyond what's expected from a normal workplace. They might be giving their employees extra holidays to take care of their mental health. And these are also companies who put the well-being of the customer at the center of their philosophy. And that's because the caregiver archetype lives by one mantra. How can I be of help? Companies that play on this archetype are of course NGOs like WWF, Doctors Without Borders, and Greenpeace. But also brands like Tom's or Patagonia represent the caregiver archetype perfectly. These brands position themselves as the ones who bring safety, protection, and support. And that's because the caregiver customer is often an altruist themselves. They care deeply for other humans or a certain cause and they appreciate feeling seen by the brand. Personal brands that perfectly embody the caregiver archetype are Mother Teresa, Angelina Jolie, Princess Diana, Florence Nightingale, and the Dalai Lama. At their best, caregivers are selfless, generous, and strong. At their worst, they can be manipulative. Although the caregiver's main goal is to bring structure and stability, they might overcompromise and lose balance themselves. As a caregiver brand, you promote yourself as a well of compassion and generosity. Your customers seek protection, safety, and support. And your main mission is to help people care for one another, as well as themselves. And now I'd like to hear from you. Did you resonate with the caregiver archetype? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I hope this little video here will help you market yourself and your business with ease. Stay tuned for more archetypes coming your way. I'll catch you next week. Bye. Take care.